Hi and welcome to today's um, arms and abs workout. Um, thank you for joining me. Say hi if you are joining me and we'll get into the workout. Giving your shoulders a roll, we'll get warmed up on our feet to begin with. And then the majority of exercises will be on the floor. You don't need any weights for today's, but you do need a chair or something that you could do tricep dips on. So a chair, edge of a settee, um, step, whatever you use, small table. Okay, give your arms a big circle, breathe deep. As with all the workouts, if there's anything that doesn't feel right, um, change them for something that is. I'll try and give you different options for everything. Okay, just taking your arms across your chest. Good, we'll get the legs moving as well. We're not using the legs too much today, but they do um, help the exercises, so you will be using them a little bit. Okay, just really get a good opening out of your chest there, bringing your elbows back, keeping your elbows at shoulder height when you're doing these. Excellent, good stuff. Okay, taking your arms to the side and switching. I can never go into that one smoothly. Never mind, I have to think about it. Good, so you're aiming for the outside of your knee. You're bringing your shoulder down, you're creating a little bit of a crunch here as well. Getting a bit of a twist through your hips and your abs. Good stuff. Four more. Three, two, one. And we'll take it to a little bit of a jog or a march on the spot and punch in the sky. Oh, see, I've got a squeaky floorboard here. So when I lie down and start doing abs and things, if you hear any funny noises, it's the floorboards. Not me. <laughs> Good. I'm punching it forward. Again, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, we'll just take it into some hooks. So we're getting a bit of a twist and working your arms through still. Good. Turning your hips and heels. Okay, so today we're going to alternate between upper body and abs. We're on the floor for all but one of the exercises. And let's just do two more of these. Back to your march. Give your wrist a circle. And we're going to do 10 reps of each five rounds. Got a couple of finishers on the end as well. Okay, so first round, I'll explain everything, give you different options. From there on, we can power through. Okay, so we're starting with press-ups. Chest press-ups, so your hands are wide and then your chest. You've got the option. You can do them on the edge of a settee. You can do them on your knees. You can do them on your toes. Try a different progression. If you've always done them on your knees, try it on your toes. If you've always done them on the settee, try them on the floor. Give it a go. Okay, so we're just doing 10. Hands nice and wide, tummy pulled in tight. Off we go. So breathing out as you push up. Good. Nice and low. Now keep that neck nice and straight. Good. We've got five more. Push through your hands. Four. Good. Last three. Two. And last one. Well done. Okay. I don't know why I did them on my knees, but it's because I was explaining on my knees. Okay, next, exit. I'll do them on my toes in the next round. Next one, crunches. I'll give you the options again. You can either have your feet on the floor and just lift your shoulders here. You can take your feet off the floor so you're crunching and extending. You can crunch and extend one leg or two, or you can start in this position, full out and back again. Choose which one you're going to do, commit to it. We're going to do 10. Are we ready? Let's go. Lifting your shoulders, breathing. Whichever option you're doing, you're lifting your chin. Keep it away from your chest so that neck's nice and straight. Good. Really squeeze those abs. Keep breathing. We've got four more of these. Last two. Stretch it out, good. And last one. Well done. Good work. You can try a different option each time. We've got five rounds. Okay, next one you will need your chair for. Dips. Now with dips, the further you take your feet out, 
the more you're gonna feel it. Um, working the backs of your arms here. Keep that body nice and upright. Okay, shoulders back, hips back. Watch your hips don't go forward in these. Facing forwards, 10, let's go. So bend it and squeeze it. Breathe. Good stuff. Keep that back straight. We've got four more. Squeeze as you push. Squeeze. Last two. And last one. Well done. Good. Okay, you can move your chair out of the way. Oblique crunches, I'll give you the options. You can either keep your feet on the floor and go across. Okay, taking your feet off the floor and across or pushing out with your lower, working your lower abs here. You can also go back to these full crunches and do the twist that way. We are doing 20 of them because they're left, right. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to keep my feet off the floor, I think. Okay, 20 of these. Let's go. But we're going to move them. Good work. Each version of these has different advantages. So don't worry, choose a different one each time. Good. The aiming, you're aiming to get your elbow to your knee. Breathing deep. We've got eight, seven. Good. Lift that shoulder across. Good. Last four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, the last one. We're going to hold a hand, a plank, but on your hands. So hands under your shoulders. Body straight and strong. We're just holding it. 30 seconds. Let's go. So try and keep your neck nice and straight. I've set up my clock, my little timer just here in front. All we're doing, pushing into your heels, keeping that body straight. Now think about your shoulders, power up those shoulders, pulling your tummy, breathe deep, you're working your arms and your abs in this one. We've got 10 more seconds here, holding it before we start. All over again, are we ready? Three, two, one, and put your knees down there. You might have a little lower back stretch. Good, okay. You know what you're doing this time. You've practiced each exercise. You know which um, variation is gonna suit you. We're gonna go for it again. Starting with, oh, starting with press-ups. Okay, knees or toes, settee, however you're doing them. Get your hands wide, get your body strong, and off we go for 10. Nine, this is round two, eight, seven, good, last five, four, last two, push it, last one, good. We shall whiz through these and get the job done. Crunches, either start seating or on the floor, let's go, lift it. 10 of these, lifting your chin, squeezing your abs. We've got five more. You don't have to involve your low your legs. Last three, see how your back goes. Two more. And last one. Well done. Grab your chair. Dips is our next one. See, once we get cracking, we'll get a sweat on work through them nice and fast. Shoulders back, hips at the chair, off we go for 10. Squeeze as low as you can. Good work. Push it. Good, four more here. Squeeze those triceps. Last two. And last one. Nice work. Okay, back onto the floor. I'm going to take these crunches. Because we're doing 20, I'm going to take them a little bit faster. You might want to join me with the speed on these. Okay, 20, we're ready. Let's go. Just working across to the outside of your knee. Good work. Got 10 more. Nine. Good. Last 
last five, four, three, two, one. Good work, okay, turning it over, holding your hands under your shoulders, on your toes, you can do it on your knees as well, try it on your toes, let's go, okay, keep those legs powered up, your hips powered up, you're just holding it, remember, try not to drop your head down, keep it relaxed but keep it in position and breathe deep there. Good, we've got 15 seconds, push into those hands, use your hands, keep your hands really active. Now pull your tummy in tight, breathe, five more seconds, three, two, one, knees down, just have a little bit of a lower back stretch there. Good, how are we feeling? We're on to round three. Give your arms a shake. We're starting with press ups, hands nice and wide, toes on knees. Are we ready? I'm moving down a bit. Okay, let's go for 10. Power them out. Use that breath. We've got five more. Come on, keep them going. Tummy strong. Last three, two, last one. Those feel hard today. Sometimes you might feel really strong in exercise and you come to do it again, you feel a little bit weaker. Um, you know, just some days like that is all I can say. Okay, crunches, full or feet on the floor. Let's go for 10, again. Use that breath. Crunch it in. We've got five more. Squeeze your abs. Last three. And last one. Well done. Good. Okay, dips. I've noticed that my feet are getting closer and closer with dips. So I'm trying a little bit further out this time. Let's hope I can do them further out. I used to be able to. Okay, we ready? Shoulders back, tummy in. Let's power them out. Good stuff. Good, nice and low. We've got five more. Push it, last three, two, really squeeze your triceps, last one, well done. Excuse my facial expressions at the end of each exercise, okay, we'll eat crunches, let's keep them speedy, shall we? 20, let's go, good, all the way around. Good, good switch, 10 more. Can you go around any further? Last four, three, two, one. Well done. 10 over into that hand plank. Make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders in these. Okay, onto your toes. And let's just hold it there, pulling in. Yeah, make sure your shoulders are directly above your hands. You're not coming forward or back. Just drop your hips. Keep them strong. Pull your tummy in tight. Good. Just holding this strong position for another 10 seconds here. Pull it in. Good. Last three, two, one. Knees down. Just take a breath there. Good work. We've got two more rounds of these to go. Are you giving your very best? We have got a couple of finisher rounds on the end. Okay. Can you feel your arms working more than your abs or vice versa? I feel my arms working lots today. Okay. 
We'll start in round four. Hands wider than your shoulders. Toes on knees. Press ups. <sighs> Are we ready? Am I ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Push in. We've got five more. Four. Come on, we can do this. Last three. Two. And last one. Oosh. Oh. Yeah, they're getting harder and harder every round of those ones. Crunches. Remember, if you're doing them lying down, squeeze each one. You're working just as hard, just differently, that's all. Choose which one. Okay, we're ready. Ten of your best. Strong. The more you squeeze, the harder you'll be working. So you control how hard you're working. We've got five more. Squeeze it. Last three. Two. And last one. Well done. Grab that chair. Or whatever you're using for these. Okay, make sure you have, your knuckles are facing forward in these ones as well. Okay, taking your legs out. Shoulders back. Let's drop it and squeeze it. Good. Keep that back nice and straight. Good work, keep pushing through them. We've got four more. Last three, two, and last one. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing them facial expressions again, aren't I? Okay, bleak crunches. Maybe a little bit of a push out with the legs this time as I'm doing them. Try it, off we go. Good stuff. All the way around. Remember, you're lifting with your shoulder. Good. We've got ten more. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. And turning it over. Give your wrists a bit of a circle in between. You might be feeling it in your wrists from press ups and dips and holding these. Okay, hands under your shoulders this time. Body strong. And let's hold that position. Pulling in tight. Breathing deep. Pressing your fingers down. Keep your hands active. Be aware of how, you, how your hands are helping you balance in this one. Okay, pull that tummy in. 10 more seconds here, good. Keep it strong. Last three, two, one. Knees down, have a little bit of a lower back stretch there. Give your circle, give your wrist a circle. We're doing one more round of these. Okay, so as it's your last round, push through, do your best. As your body gets more tight towards round four and round five, these are the ones that really make the difference. They will feel harder, um, but when you're challenging yourself and pushing yourself to get them done, that's when the magic happens. Okay, last round. Hands wider than your shoulders. Keep that body strong. Are we ready? Am I ready? Yes, let's go. Last 10. Nine, use every bit of your body for that push. Use your breath, good. Keep it strong. Last four, three, all the way down, last two, and last one. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm glad those are done and out the way. Okay, crunches. Give your hands a bit of a shake off. Okay, 
So start in your seated position or lying, however, tell your best. Let's go, crunch it in, breathe. Good stuff. Five more, give it your very best. Keep that chin off your chest. Last three, two, and last one. Well done. I do hope you're huffing and puffing like I did. Breath gets you through it, you know. I might not go red, but I do, um, I am a bit of a heavy breather when I'm training. Okay, keep those fingers facing forward. Last round of these, take those feet out as far as you can. Back straight. Let's go, squeeze it. Fully squeeze those arms. Full bend. Make sure your elbows are going back. Good. We've got five more. Come on, keep them low. Last three. Back strong. Two more. And last one. Squeeze it. Well done. Okay, two more like this to go. Oblique crunches. As it's the last round in these, we're still going to do 20. Let's slow them down. Last time we're doing these, okay. Feet on or off the floor with that push out. Deep breath. Let's go a little bit slower. Let's take our time to really feel these pushing through your heel. Good work. Push. If you're pushing your leg out nice and low to the floor, Good work. Lift that shoulder. Can you lift it round any more? You've got 10 more. Far round. You can use your other elbow to push you round. Squeeze that twist. Good work. Six more. Come on, really twist it round as far as you can get round. Last four. Ooh, three. Nice work. Last two. And last one. <sighs> okay, turning it over. 30 seconds holding this hand plank. Okay, shoulders above your hands. Hands strong, flat on the floor. Push those hands down. Get those heels down, um, toes down. And off we go. We're going to hold it here. Now just check that your... Um, Difficult to check when you're in plank position that you're in the right plank position. That's why I'm just looking, checking at the screen. Pull your tummy in tight. Make sure you're doing that. Pushing into your heels. As long as your shoulders are above your hands, just pull that belly button in. 10 more seconds here. Come on, let's keep it strong. Push into, the, into your hands. Good work. Last three, two, one, and... Just have a little bit of a low back bend there. Back stretch, sorry. Good work. Okay, we've done five rounds. We've done 50 reps of everything. Um, I'm going to just move this out of the way. We've got a couple of finishers for you. Two 60 second finishers. Okay, we're going to start with um, crunches. We're holding this crunch. It's a 60, so I'm putting my watch there. <laughs> and it's a 60 seconds hold. Now, I'll just show you the different options before we start. You can keep your feet on the floor. Um, lift your chin off your chest. Keep those arms strong. You're holding it here, okay? You can add that little bouncing. Watch that you're not using your neck here like this. Keep your chin off your chest, okay? Or you can take your feet off the floor, holding it all the time. Add those tiny bounces if you want to. Okay, we're doing this, 60 seconds. Are we all ready? We're going three, two, one, and lift. Okay, so if you're holding it, if you've got your feet on the floor, fine, or legs out, okay. Whatever you're doing, chin off your chest. Those arms need to be low to the floor. You need to be lifting with your shoulders. 
You need to be breathing tiny, powerful bounces. Okay, breathe deep. Lift it a little bit more. You will find that you drop back into it. When you're lifting, lift with your chest, lift with your chin. Okay, breathing deeply. We've got 30 seconds to go. If you've got your legs out in the field, fine. See if you can drop them a little bit more. Oh, that makes a difference. Ah, don't scream. Breathe deep. Now pull your tummy in. Breathe, keep it going. Can you drop them anymore? Ah, oh, might go into your thighs now. Now lift your shoulders. Oh, it's gruesome. We're nearly there. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. Did anybody notice I had a really funny leg shake going on? <laughs> just give you some, just give your knees a little bit of a hug. I had a very funny leg twitch going on there. I was trying to hold it straight, but it was just going a bit berserk. Well done. Okay, we've got one more 60 second challenge. Try that as long as you, you're not using your um, neck. It's a good one to practice, just holding that position. Okay, so the next 60 seconds, trust me, and I'm going to feel this just as much as anybody else. We're going to do an elbow plank option of adding the punches in, okay? Whether that's on your knees or your toes, you can just hold it if you want. I want you to have a go at adding these punches in. Now, when you add the punches in, don't, don't rock your hips around. Try and keep them as still as you can. Okay, 60 seconds. I'm putting the, that clock right in front of me so I don't undress it. Adding the punching makes a big difference. Are we ready? 60 seconds. Let's go. So get your plank position to start with. Make sure your body's strong, your elbows are under your shoulders and you're pulling your tummy in. Now, if your back feels good and everything feels good, let's add those punches in. If you're on your knees, add those punches in. Try not to rock your hips too much, power them out, good punch it. Not only should you be feeling these in your abs, but you feel probably by now feel them in your shoulders as well. Okay, breathe deep, keep it strong, punch them out, we're nearly there, last 30 seconds. Okay, keep going. Can you pull that tummy in to protect your back? Punch power. We're adding these into boxer size, so get practicing them. 10 more seconds. We're nearly there. Hold it strong. Last three punches. Two. And last one. And put your knees down there. Drop onto your hips. If you take your knees a little bit wider, keep your bum on your hips. Sink into it. Oh. Put your head on the floor. If you can, you're aiming to get your hips, keep your hips on your heels and your head on the floor. Just go as far as feels comfortable. Stretch your hands out. Breathe deep. And press your hand, palms into the floor here. Well done, how are you feeling? Did you get a bit of sweat on? Okay, keep it exactly the same body position. All right, you do is press your fingertips in the floor and lift your forearms off the floor. Now really press your fingertips into the floor as hard as you can. You'll feel that stretch down the back of your arms there and shoulders. Oh. Nice work. Okay, slowly coming out of that stretch. I'm gonna turn around, you don't need to, you can stay in the same position. I just don't like stretching that way. Okay, one foot in front of the other. We don't actually need to do these stretches, we're just gonna stretch your arms up. Nice deep breath. We do need to stretch, well, sorry, I was talking out loud then, thinking out loud, breathe deep. And then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll add, we'll add these bonus stretches in. Good stuff. Okay, we do slowly come up onto your feet. We do need to um, stretch your upper body, pushing your arms out, dropping your head. 
Breathing deeply here. Good, relax your neck. Really push out so you can feel that stretch. And then taking it back. Lift your chest, lift your chin. Big breath in here. Good, squeeze your shoulder blades together as much as you can here. Take a really deep breath in, you'll feel that stretch a little bit more across your chest. Okay, just taking your arm across, stretching your shoulder there. At whatever height, your arm, whatever height you feel that stretch most. Good, and then onto the other side, stretch that shoulder. Okay, taking your arm up and then try and reach down your back. Just try and call your fingers down as far as you can. This hand, don't force it, but you're kind of guiding it with this hand. You're just holding it in that position. Reach down. You should feel a little stretch down the front of your, your tricep here. A bit, little bit awkward on your neck. Try and keep your neck relaxed. Breathe into it again. And then switch onto the other side. Again, always try and reach down as far as you can with this one. Feeling that nice stretch there. Breathing deeply. Good, good. Okay, just give your shoulders a bit of a roll here. Give your wrists a circle. And just give your neck a little bit of a roll. Good, breathing as you're doing it in both directions. Oh, God, my, neck, my neck's crunching. <laughs> good. Okay, does that feel okay? Let's have a stretch to finish. Breathing out, big breath in. And again, breathing out, big breath in. Nice loud breath. And last time, breathing out, big breath in. And then slowly bring your arms down there. Well done, everybody. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you feel proud of yourself. Have a great day, whatever you're doing or evening, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.